Welcome everyone to this Lucky Two Daily Challenge for November 22nd, 2020. Doing this one a little bit later than I usually do. I was just a little too tired last night. So I decided to wait till I had a good night's sleep. Uh oh. There are traps everywhere. I should have jumped across. Oh, that's, that's dangerous. Maybe I should just jump up. Pretty good amount of money in this level, even though we didn't get the ghost pot. Still got a decent amount. I don't know that I care about either of those. Well, I guess we can just give Annie's turkeys real quick. Since he's right here.
That's definitely gonna trade a shopkeeper. That log can't crash through, so we'll grab this. Alright, key room's on the side, good. Check out the right side first. This maybe it's probably better to just bring the ghost by at this point. Shop down there. It's good, we need the ropes.
I'm not sure I really care about buying a turkey. Maybe I'll buy one turkey to ride on them. Um, since we don't have shoes. Might be helpful. We have the skeleton key, so we don't really need this silver key. Well... Let's see what's in here. this turkey, potentially. Well, I don't know if I lose my torch. This is a... Uh, that's a tougher idol because of the spider. That was risky. That was a risky one. Alright, so it's like right here. Sounded like he said, wait a minute. All right, lots of bombs. Even more bombs. I don't want to see what's in the mystery boxes, maybe. Just in case we get it in a jetpack. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and rob the shop. Uh, I guess maybe spike shoes would be helpful for robbing the shop. Are there any spike shoes anywhere? Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. Read that someone's gonna come up behind me in the market. Alright, we've got about a minute left. I think that floor's clear. Oh my god. Last one? No, there's gotta be at least one more, right? Oh god. Why is the music still going? Ooh. 
is looking like a good run if we can find anything to wear on our back. I guess we could try for the shopkeeper's body, but eh. I don't know. Well, I hate this. I just bombed down, huh? The thing to watch out for here is that we don't have any way of floating. We're gonna have to use our ropes wisely. Also, I've got a parachute, which could be bad. I'll let them down on the left side, I think. Somewhere over here. Okay, so Olmec bombing out his own floaters is a good reason not to stand directly under him. Just something to watch out for. If we can get them on this pillar right here, that'd be good.
at this point, I'm not sure what to do. Maybe we just let him down at this point. Over on the left here. Uh, maybe rope as well. Oh no. Here's that parachute. they've done all these things to make Olmec more active of a fight, and I thought they were doing it to make it so that you had to engage him in, in phase 3, but it really feels like you never have to engage in phase 3, no matter what change they make because of the nature of how bombs work. <clears throat> I can give Wadler my shotgun. Since we're gonna need uh, the sword. So that might be something we can do. How far over was that crate? Uh, this pillar. Here. Uh, let's yeah, let's go ahead and give Wadler a shotgun. Is that turkey I hear? This is oh we got the we got the parachute, I always forget that they give you a parachute. Oh I guess I could just press the button again to release the parachute when I was falling on Tolmec. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna bomb out over here and hopefully they don't get out of their area. I'm scared. Alright, let's bomb this out. Alright, we got a leprechaun at least. Spot got destroyed. I don't really care about the clone gun, I don't think. Clone gun's such a weird item. I guess it gives you a chance to clone the present here, but with the shopkeeper aggro, I'm not even going to try that. Um, yeah, this is the level, so maybe I should leave the sword behind and start looking for the, um, the door as quickly as we can. Cause I don't want to 
Don't want dilly dally on this floor. And it would be nice to invigorate right after using the ox, so we'll keep that in mind. might come back to the Royal Jelly as well. That'll be a nice health boost. Alright, we got two minutes to get that Royal Jelly and the Damsel. And figure out where the exit is. Damsel first. Aw, oh, dang. I guess I didn't need that second rope, but... just want to make sure that... Um, we have enough time to do everything we want to do. Uh, I guess we don't need to bring that with us. We just go. And come all the way back out. It's all the way down. off. Wait, where is it? It's over there. Take care of all these enemies down here so we don't forget about them later. Get a little blood while we're at it. Alright, where's that sword? There it is. Right here, though. Oh, nice. Really, no excuse to bomb pretty much everything now. Uh, simple servant gold marked by the snake. Simple gold snake. There's a vault here we could we could break into. We already have shopkeeper aggro, right? So there's no downside there. 
I just kind of want to see if we'll if we'll see that thing again. Um, not sure where the best place for this is. Also, not sure what the best way to deal with the shopkeeper is. To be honest. I do this and then like this. Is that gonna get him? No, not even close. He just jumped out. All right, so nothing here. So it's, it's clearly like a fluke that we got into the uh, into the alien area with the through the vault. I think. Not gonna deal with Dancel. We need to go in here. I mean, there's no reason not to. We could trade some ropes for some bombs. Oh, we got the uh, shotgun up there that we can get. Uh, let's do that. I think we'll just place a bomb here. As I placed it, I was a little bit worried. Maybe I'll give you the sword just in case there's another one of you later on. Who knows? A little bit worried about after placing that mine that the uh, body of the damsel might come back to haunt me. I'm always ready to hit R1 again if I see if I see a Yeti. It's happened too many times, and now it's just not happening anymore. I don't know if it was just a fluke or what. Oh no! How was that? What's that? I was pretty sure I hit the top of that UFO, but maybe I'm wrong. Firefly gets to live another day. Can't see a thing. I love dark levels. Go straight down. I guess we can just bomb out. That was an interesting bounce off the little helmet. I was a little worried when I first saw that. Oh. How do I, uh. Alright, I don't trust it. Oh. Hello? Oh no! I got spooked by the elevator. I was like, oh, I have to get off, but. Ugh. A little bit too much going on. Alright, that's gonna do it for Splunk Dave Challenge for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.